Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hello everybody, yes, it's with ya, and welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be talking about the Grow a Garden series part three, and of course, this video is gonna be going on the Cash UI as the main uh, title, as you can tell. Now, if you're part of this series, and if you've been watching this, or you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button, guys. I'm really trying to hit 100,000 uh, uh, subscribers, and it means so much to me if you do. But yeah, we're gonna hop right into this. So going off of the last two episodes, now if you are not familiar and you haven't been here, um, you can go in the profile, everything in the description there, and there's gonna be a kit for you, so you can be able to just go ahead and grab that. Very simple stuff. And we're going to hop on a studio. Now, if you don't want to get the kit and you just want to get the model, I have it already made for you guys. Um, of course, the people that have been watching this video. But yeah, so we're going to get into this. So going into studio, like I said, all the things in the description. And um, it's very simple, okay? So we have this little model right here. Um, also, keep you know, I am posting all of these in the Discord server. So if you want this right away, maybe before I open the video, things like that, um, I'm posting all the links and the downloads to the files in there. Um, so this one, Roblox actually let me upload because there is no require statement in it. So luckily I was able to actually upload this to Roblox. Now, um, you just grab it right here. You can hit open in studio or download. It's up to you, whatever is easier. Um, and you can also just follow uh, follow along. But yeah, so I'm going to demonstrate to you actually kind of what was made. Um, I'm actually currently working on the uh, the shop right now. And the this is going to be the next video about the character. So I know you guys are probably like, oh, I'm excited to see this. And yeah, I'm excited too. Um, it's just been built. We got the uh, the guys to look at you and everything. I did this on the live stream, which was nice. But I already made this for you guys. So um, this actually works right now. So I'm just going to show you what I mean. So when you click purchase, um, it actually does an animation and shows like what was uh, minus from it. And then we'll do the adding as well. Um, but see how it does a cool animation, which is very nice. Now, um, oh, there we go. Um, also, going off of that, I know a lot of you guys are commenting like, oh, the seeds don't work. You can't plant them, this and that, and then this. I haven't made that yet. So I just want you to keep note that that has not been made yet, and we will be making it. Um, and, of course, a lot of the stuff was saving and things like that. None of that's been made. We will be making that. Um, and, yeah, sell. So right now you can't sell anything, so you can't get cash. Now, tip of advice, if you want to give yourself cash and buy more plants and test them, you actually can just go into – let's just – I'll show you. Sorry, let me do this real quick freshener for you guys. Um, so you open the tab right here. You go to settings, and you go developer console, and then we can go on the server side, and there's a command line, okay? This is where you're able to, like, do commands. Um, so if I do game.players, dot, and then you put in your username. So I'm going to put twin plays dev dot leader stats because we're accessing the leader stats and actually which is really nice if you go explorer you can actually see right here twin plays dev so game dot players twin plays dev leader stats so we're going leader stats dot cash and we can go cash and then um and actually i think you might actually just be able to <laughs> update it through here i'll double check dot value and then you can do plus equals um but you can just do uh equals and then let's go a million. And then I kind of want to see, is there a way to just show this off screen so I don't, uh, let me see if we can drag this a little bit. Okay, so pay pension on number. So I hit a million, boom, does the animation for you. So that's what's going to happen when you sell the uh, thing. So that's basically what's going on in this video. It's a very simple tutorial. And yeah, nothing too crazy for you guys. Um, but yeah, and there's sound and everything as well, as you can tell. Um, okay, so getting the model. Uh, yeah, you just grab this right here. We did that. Um, and it should be in your inventory toolbox. So just right up here. Um, if you did download it, um, you can actually just go to model and then hit that model button right there and you should be good. Okay, so in here, ungrape, ungroup main, uh, in main, sorry, in starter GUI. So mine's already made, of course. In here, if you, uh, we had, we didn't have this cache. So you're going to ungroup it into this, this main because we're going to be putting a lot of stuff in here. So ungroup it into there. Once you're good, you can just drag that, by the way. And then we need a new sounds. Um, you can change this, of course. This is just the coins. Um, but sounds, and you drag it into sounds and replicated storage. Now, like I said, if you don't have this kind of stuff, just go down to the kit, or it's on my profile, and you can just easily get it, and you're good. Um, starter player scripts. So this is the new UI effects. So actually, you can just go into here, and we'll talk about this later. Uh, there's more stuff now, but I'll be giving this in the next video. UI effects, just drag it into here. Um, so uh, just replace the old one, and you get the new one. And then... Yeah, so I'll actually go over here, cache notification. Yes, so this is the, the main script, um, and then we'll talk about that. So actually, it's pretty simple. Let's just go over it, okay? So we have the cache right here. We want to put it on the left side of the screen. We go down to the properties. This is the font face. If you want to change the font, just click that button. 
you can change to whatever you want. Um, I'm pretty sure this is actually the font that uh, Girl Garden uses. There's also a UI stroke if you a UI stroke if you want to just keep that on there. Um, it has a little uh, background effect, uh, stroke effect, and then um, text you can just leave it at 100. Or honestly, I recommend putting it at whatever um, the player normally starts with. Um, so just do that, and then um, of course you know you just. Uh, go and uh can like mess around if you want actually i wouldn't touch anything else keep it text scaled because if you turn that off it's not going to work best and that won't keep it scaled in this uh area but yeah just honestly only mess with the font face and text color and you can uh change some of other stuff but yeah so the script um how this works now with the old ui effects this handles all of the hovers and clicks and all that stuff but in here um yeah so we grab the screen ui we're going to go to player ui we're grabbing main we're going to grab the cache so we're waiting for child grabbing the cache getting a cache sound setting that cache sound to player GUI. So this is a format function. This formats the numbers to make sure it does combos and everything like that. And then this is the floating text effect. So this is the floating text is in basically just saying the text that goes above the um, cache when we get the notification. Um, this is where we create a new, uh, yeah, cache label, floating caches, I guess you could say it. Um, and then, um, yeah, we just position it a little bit above. We do an anchor point. Uh, we set the background and text color and all that stuff and then yeah we're checking right here so if it's greater than zero so it's saying you know we're we're getting money um then we're gonna make it green and then if we're doing um, less than zero so it's negatives you know we're minusing we're gonna make it red and then we're gonna put a minus so that's how that works and then there's a tween info to tween it in which is right here uh right here tween play um pretty simple stuff and then animate cache label. This is the cache part where we're just animating it to uh, like do that little animation when we like minus or subtract from it, or I mean subtract or add to it. Uh, and then set up tra cache tracker. Uh, you know, we want to initially call this right as the player loads. Um, but yeah, it's basically go just going to always check. So the cache label is cache format uh, last cache, um, which is the cache dot value is in saying what we were just doing. Um, and then this is the main thing. So um, when it comes to values and like, let's say leader stats, you can use get property change signal value and then make a function out of it. And then what that's doing is anytime it changes. So anytime a player gets cash or gets less cash, you know, anything like that, that number just changes. It's going to find the new cash value. It's going to make the difference. So we're going to get the difference between the old and the new. Um, and then we're going to do that animate cash a label. So we're basically we're animating the, the main label. Uh, we're going to animate this right here. And then we're going to play the cash down. And then if the difference is, uh, you can not talk over the mail, um, zero, sorry. Um, then we're going to create that floating text uh, difference. And then, of course, uh, last cash equals new cash. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's basically it, you guys. That is the that is how the cash works. Um, it's pretty cool stuff. Now, I know you guys, uh, you know, you can stop this video if you don't want to watch it or listen to me for two seconds. But, um I'm going to be working on a few more things, but yeah, so right now I'm just kind of trying to get this uh, part done with Sam, but uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's just the cache itself, and you can kind of mess around, whatever you guys want, um, but like I said, guys, if you're having issues, you got to make sure you follow the tutorials, because a lot of people are commenting like, oh, my garden's not working, or, you know, you're not you're not getting claimed, but that's just because uh, some of the things might be missing or from the uh, thing or whatever, but everything should be uh, basically working the way that I've made it already for you guys, and there is a whole kit, so just... You make something and change something, go back to the kid and just see what you might have did wrong. Um, but yeah, you guys, that is uh, that is it. And um, I will see you in the next video. I know you guys are paying attention, and please bear with me. And thank you, guys. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.